Good morning, YouTube. So I have here these two phones, the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P. So this is not a full review or anything like that. This is just my initial thoughts, my initial impressions after using this phone for seven days and this phone, the 6P, for just uh, 24 hours. I've had this thing since yesterday about this time. First, let me talk about this, the 5X. In short, I'm very uh, underwhelmed with this phone. If I had a Nexus 5 as my main phone and then after two years I got this phone, I would be so uh, so not happy and not thrilled about it. First of all, okay, the camera has improved, so I'll give it that. But other than that, there's barely, to me, just using it, much difference between using this and using the Nexus 5 from two years ago. The screen is good, but the screen is similar. The size is nice, the look is nice, but it's not better. Oh, it's a slightly better look and feel than the Nexus 5, marginally. Not enough that I'd wanna sell my Nexus 5 for this. But I'm having other issues with this. The, the battery life on this, for me at least, has been terrible. I get about seven hours of standby. Seven hours of standby. So every seven hours at least, I have to start charging. I I have to at, at the most I can go is seven hours. I have to start charging this thing. So if I take it off the phone at 7 a.m., that means by what is that? 2 p.m. This thing's already on the charger. So that's a that's that's a big big downfall with this phone, at least that I've seen. I've also been seeing some lag. Uh, I don't know if that's entirely Marshmallow because well I don't think it's Marshmallow because I have many other devices running Marshmallow where I see no lag at all. So anyway, in short, the 5X. Performance has been underwhelming. The battery has been terrible. Camera's fine, it's okay. And uh, overall, I'm just underwhelmed. And I mean, this is quite a bit more money now than the Nexus 5 was a couple of years ago. Um, so, so far, in the first seven days of using this phone, I don't think I can recommend this phone at all. Now, let's talk about this guy. Oh, this is, of course, the 6S. This thing is awesome. Like obviously, I haven't been using this phone for a lot. I've been using it just for a day. I've barely used the camera, but man, there are so many things I like about this phone. First of all, it's slim and the design is fantastic. I just love the design. I love the metal. The metal feels good. The weight is solid. This is a 5.7 inch screen, but it does not feel, I mean, it's a slightly big phone, but this is it. This is the phone I'm carrying with me now. This phone is great. The screen is fantastic. I'm constantly looking, every time I look at the screen, every time I pick up the phone and look at something, I'm like, whew, this screen is crazy. This is the, it's a 1440p screen. Even the brightness that I'm just thrilled with the screen. I'm thrilled with the design. The camera, I've used a little bit. The camera is fantastic. Uh, when I saw the leaks earlier with this phone, I, I was really concerned about what this hump in the back might look like. This periscope looking panel, but it it actually looks good. It, it barely sticks out, it hardly sticks out at all. This is the Nexus phone we've been waiting for. I've been waiting five years for a Nexus phone that is actually a high-end flagship phone at, at the time it got released. I'm so, so thrilled with this phone. The performance is really fast. It's the fastest Android experience I've ever seen. The best camera I've ever used on an Android phone. And the battery life, I mean, I've had it only for a day. I've got, I got, what did I get? Almost 18, 19 hours of standby, which is what I was getting with the Moto X Play. So overall, this is it. If you're a sophisticated Android user, I really, really think this is the phone that you should be getting if your budget allows it and you don't need a dual SIM or whatever. Even the fingerprint sensor, this I, I wasn't at first thrilled about having a fingerprint sensor behind, but it's so fast, you get used to it so quickly. It's so easy to use. Here's the lock screen unlocked. Man, I'm so thrilled about this phone. Really looking forward to using it a lot more. Of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments on this phone or on the Nexus 5X, please let me know. Thank you for watching.